This week in maths, we will be learning about position and movement. Let's have a look at the picture of this burger. The buns are at the top and bottom. The tomato is above the meat, cheese and lettuce. The meat and cheese are above the lettuce. The tomato is on top of the meat and the meat is on top of the cheese. Let's have a look at these children in their classroom. The children are seated close to each other. The children are seated around shadows. The teacher's desk is near Lulu, Polly and Ruby. The teacher is standing close to his desk. Ravi, Amina and Sam are seated far from the teacher. Is Polly close to the teacher? Well done. Yes, she is. Here we have Amira climbing up the ladder and then sliding down the slide. And this car went forward and the car went backwards. Let's look at this picture and see how we can describe the position of the things. The doll and the water bottle are under the chair. The doll is in front of the water bottle. The water bottle is behind the doll. The pencil and the books are above the doll and the water bottle. The pencil is close to the books. The books are behind the pencil and the pencil is in front of the books. This week we will also be learning about movement. Let's look at this car. Watch how it turns. The car has turned all the way around right back to where it started from. So the car has made a full turn. Let's look at how the car turns down. The car has made a half turn because it started facing forwards and turned around to face the opposite direction. So it's a half turn. If you imagine a circle, it has turned half of it. So the car has made a half turn. Let's look at how this car turns. The car has made a quarter turn. If we imagine a circle again, the car has turned a quarter of the circle. So this car has made a quarter turn. We can also describe turns by using clockwise, the way that the hands on a clock move, or anti-clockwise, which is when the when something moves in the opposite direction to the hands or a clock. Let's see how this car moves, clockwise or anti-clockwise. What do you think? Well done! This car has made a full turn clockwise. And now what do you think? Excellent! This car has made a full turn anti-clockwise. 
That's our Nifty Putty. Happy Lair Dig!